Hello, this is a Bechstein Model A Grand Piano that's 183 centimetres, six foot long and made in 1909. It's been fully restored and on the showroom floor now, just looking to see if there's any further refinements we could make. Before we do that, I just want to look at it cosmetically, but I'm going to try to keep this video short. There's plenty of other videos on Bechstein's that we've restored before so if you look on our youtube channel and look for restored beckstein or you want to know some aspect of it like the rest plank then uh, they're very very similar each one so we've as i say we've done quite a few now so we're getting to a routine on but each piano is a bit different um and I, I was tempted to start talking about things here but i want to keep this video short and concentrate on touch and tone but you can see that uh, we try to make it uh, not only reconditioned to the best possible mechanical standards but uh, look as good as possible as well. I've been playing the piano and trying to see if there's any refinements to do on it and make this worksheet which uh, helps me and I can share with our technicians who can do some of the work too. Um, this one has got very little to do actually. We Touch weight's really important for musicians so 47 to 50 that's medium very slightly on the lighter to medium but will be fine for study but ideal if you don't play very much as well so let's say 50 is the normal average so 48 to 52 would be normal 47 to 50 is fine and very pleasant to play uh, less description medium mellow tone and fine touch definitely and there's very little regulation to do replace key tops now that's important and it's a Bechstein green by the way uh, there's green or blue so that might be an issue for you um, I find the green very tasteful and we always finish this off as this this is felt so um, hopefully will wear for a long time before you notice any wear on it and the key tops are changed so they're not ivory Now that's an advantage if you're if it's being exported because ivory is really difficult to export in fact they can't send ivory to the uk these uh, sorry to the usa these days at all so the other things we've got written down here the pitch is already fit raised to 443 and new strings will drop down slightly so we leave it slightly sharp from a440 very good up weight um, these are described in other videos and i won't be looking at that we're just listening to the piano today um, but rest assured we're making it as even as we possibly can front rail tends to catch that's often quite common on Bechstein's. this front rail here when it's when the cheeks are screwed in this tends to catch so um, I, I notice it's very close so I'd probably take it out a couple of millimeters just to be sure on the safe side there and as I say regulation near perfect there's some uh, some voicing here and there that's that's the F just slightly strong if you're interested in the piano you can say whether you like a bright or mellow sound and we'll compare it with others as well now by the way it's got 85 keys that might be important to you um, most pianos nowadays are 88 so this uh, new Foric Grand has 88 keys so it's an extra three at the top but they're not, not necessary for study um, there's just a few pieces that do use those keys but very few when I say not necessary for study, it's uh, if you've got right up to grade 8 and diplomas, you don't have to use have those top three notes. A lot of pianos have 85 keys. So let's listen to the tone. I'm going to play the singing area, the main area, and we can compare it with uh, that Foric and the Yamaha similar size too. Here's for it, 179, slightly shorter. Um, there are preferred new make, make of new piano in the mid price range. It's definitely a brighter sound, but these hammers can be mellowed down too if, if you would like, prefer that. This is a 2003 Yamaha C3. Let's listen to the back line at the top. And the foric. The Yamaha. Back line in the tenor. Foyrick 
Yamaha. And the Bechstein bass. There will be jump links at the bottom of the video, so you can jump from one to the other if you'd like to compare them. For Rick. Yamaha So that's the Beckstein Model A Grand Pianos six foot long and uh, made in 1909 and fully restored. As I say we have done many many Becksteins I think probably about 20 or at least 20 in very similar fashion so uh, you will see on our website if you uh, sorry on our YouTube channel if you go to our YouTube channel and just try put search fully restored Beckstein or uh, something similar you'll hopefully get some videos that are similar to uh, this piano and then you can see what kind of work we do on them but as, as this is lockdown period um, I'm trying to make a video of every single piano and so each video has to be a bit shorter so I'm sorry about the brevity of it but maybe that's a good thing you can comment so trying to concentrate on touch and tone now, this I'm really really appreciating tremendously as I say we do do a lot of Becksteins because we particularly love them very very inspiring for me I find it well, I really in, get inspired playing this and, and that's why I say we do so many Beckstein because they just the touch and the tone is second to none I, I really appreciate it now of course it depends on your taste and I've tried to compare it with other pianos and uh, let me know what you think make comments if you'd like to try this piano out during the lockdown um, we are uh, unusually letting people try pianos out for a month and that might be difficult with this one though because it's absolutely pristine and the Foric has been used for a couple of concerts and just got slight scratching on it but I'm not so worried about if that's hired out it comes back it doesn't have to be totally pristine whereas this one uh, is pristine now and if we hire it out for a month then it's going to be more difficult but if you are keen on the piano if you'd like to try it then uh, please write to us info at robertspianos.com and uh, we'll see what we can do, see if we can manage to come up with something that works for, for you and also works for us. Um, or if you want to do a 10 month rental, that will be possible. We, that's our normal rental scheme when we're not on lockdown, where you rent 3% of the purchase price for 10 months and, um, and then whatever you paid comes off the purchase price of the piano at the end of the day. It's a very sensitive piano to play and just rich everywhere you play it. Very warm. Thank you very much for listening.